Hi Virgo, welcome to your reading. This is going to be for July 2024. It is for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. If this one doesn't resonate, definitely check out those other placements. It is a general reading, so it may not resonate for everyone who watches. So we're going to get into your current energy, the near future, what you don't see coming, and then what spirit wants you to focus on this month. Then we're going to clarify, get you some advice and some oracle cards. If you are returning, welcome back. Thank you guys for all of your support. I so appreciate you. If you are new, welcome. I do hope if you enjoy the messages, you'll consider subscribing. And if you would like a personal reading, that information is in the description box below or the about section of my channel. All right, for some reason, I feel like I need to talk lower with you guys. Let's see what the theme of your month is going to be. We have Mars energy. Move forward and defend self. Okay, so you may be speaking some truths this month and not letting people get in your way. I just heard. So, uh -huh. I don't think it's defensive energy. I just think you're going to be defending yourself, period, no matter what happens and not allowing something to hold you back. Let's get into it and see what the cards bring out. All right. So the overall energy we have is the Knight of Pentacles, something that wasn't moving forward. I want to be clear, though. I don't just want to start rambling on about something. If you have not feel, felt like something was progressing, especially in a relationship, it feels like now would be the time when you start pushing forward. It could have been something that died off a while ago, but something about you is finally saying, this is it. I just can't let this hold me back any longer, especially when I know no matter how much energy I put in, it wasn't pushing forward. So let's get more details. Two of Pentacles. So your energy right now is definitely back and forth. You may not feel clear about what the next steps are. It's definitely something that's been making you sad or has created a lot of sadness for you. Let's get more specific. The fool. Okay. I don't want to say you feel like a fool, but I think for some of you, this is, I don't want to take chances with things if this is going to be the outcome for me again. I think that's popping up. And these could just be energies that you're feeling, things that you're thinking about. It could be specifically happening in your life right now and you're just making a decision that I have to work through these emotions because a part of you really does know that what's behind you is something much better, that there are still things that have not been taken away, but you have to definitely defend yourself. If you're having a difficult time with somebody at work, I keep hearing, take a chance. If you feel like you can't speak up, that's not true. That's not true. You need to take a chance and explain to somebody how you're feeling. Maybe a part of you feels like you can't approach people or someone that you need to have a conversation with. But I think if you do, you'll be surprised at the outcome. And that's part of defending yourself, especially if something went awry. Okay. Now, if something else in your life has felt like it's just not moving forward and you're unsure of where you stand, this is that time that you have that conversation, especially if you're unsure if you're going to be successful or you don't feel supported in your work environment, or especially if you don't with a partner. You just got a really warm sensation and kind of a headache. Like There's something that may almost make you feel physically not well, and this is that time when you've got to work through this because it can really tear you down physically if you don't. And then all of a sudden you'll have this like burst of energy that helps you push through and you find yourself actually taking a step forward. So July is going to be one of those breakthrough months. Yeah. Okay, great. The Ace of Wands means there's going to be action that's going to be taken. I think you're going to get really inspired to do something different. So whatever you're moving on from, it's just going to be a month where you're going to feel a little bit fired up. So if you've been holding off on, I don't know, trying something new, putting something out there that you have had fears or insecurities about doing, but don't. This is going to be the month where you want to do that, especially if you've been going back and forth about it. Also, I just want to say, uh, this is for probably just a few, if only one. If you're about to pull the trigger on a vehicle, a new car, Make sure you absolutely love it and do it. Don't ponder it. It's worth it. You're worth it. Okay. Ace of Wands with the Three of Wands in reverse. This is always Spirit's way of saying, if something's coming in and it's starting new, don't worry about the outcome. Try not to look too far in the future 
and always be in this space of expectation of how things are going to work themselves out. They want you to release that if you can this month and just get really inspired. Just start something new or do something new every single day. If it brings some kind of fire to you or suddenly you feel really inspired where you hadn't been, this would be the time. Like just don't think about the future and just do it. Okay. And the strength card. Great. You've got all fire energy here in the near future. So there's something about you. It's like they want you to face your fears. Remember I said there might have been some kind of feeling of insecurity or uncertainty. And all of a sudden you get this fire under your rear end. They're like, just face it. Look that animal in the mouth and right down his throat and muster up the courage to overcome that fear especially when we're not too focused on how it's going to turn out in the future and we just allow ourselves to take the steps that we're guided to take and push through our fears, I'm shocked at what the outcome can be. All right, so what you don't see coming, you're letting go of something, okay? For some reason, this, I don't know if it's come up with you guys before or not, but this seems to be something that is relative to most Virgo energies. There's something about feeling like you've got to hold on to things. I think a lot of you had past lives where things were tricky financially or there may not have been enough of things. So you held really, really tightly onto your finances or you felt like the only way you were going to be secure is if that was completely worked out in this life. And some of you are going to find yourselves releasing that connection to it. It has to do with the energy and what we're moving into as a collective and how much better things will get. They don't look at now and people that don't listen to this stuff probably think I was nuts, but they are gonna get better. And yes, there's gonna be a transfer of wealth. I think a part of you realizes that you can't hold on to these old ideas about exactly how things should be done or how you should make your money or the way that things always were because they're changing so drastically. And I like that for you because it's gonna relieve you of some of that tension or some of even that fear that you might have had about doing something completely different. All right, so the star in reverse, yeah, this is still working its way through your energy. So you may not feel like it's completely healed or that what you want is coming true right in the moment, but it doesn't mean that it, it hasn't been heard. So they're coming to your aid, right, the Red Cross. They hear you. There will always be support for you. There's always going to be a lot of people that are also, by the way, going to be looking up to you. So heal this because whatever it is that you need to put yourself out there with, if you've been hesitating up to this point, this is that big bat to your butt that's saying do it and do it now. Don't be afraid. There's nothing to be afraid of. Like people are going to want to hear like something that you have to do is going to be very healing to other people. I don't care if you sit at a desk and answer phones all day. It doesn't matter what you do. There's something about your energy that's very healing to people. And don't forget that. Please don't forget that. Because not only are you working through some money things, but you're always going to be supported because of the nature that you have and your desire to help other people. So if you want to get into that, let's say you've been in a corporate job for 50 years. I don't know. Clearly, I don't know how old everybody is. I wish I did. I wish people would put it in the comments and tell me where you are in your life. And you decided, I just want to help heal people. I've been through this kind of pain. I've had these types of lessons. And now I want to share this and it's going to help other people. For God's sakes, do it. We're all being called to help in any way we can. And there's something about you that is different than anybody else. Each person has something different to bring to the table and it's going to be really healing. So please don't be afraid to start. Don't be afraid to completely turn your life upside down and do something different. It may take some adjusting, but you're going to be great at it. And it's something about it really inspires you and gets you fired up. So what a spirit wants you to focus on releasing people who have done you wrong. Some of your past pains where you felt betrayed or just you know, it's not easy to process all of those emotions, but that's what they want you to focus on. It's like, if even failures, because sometimes the Seven of Swords can be us deceiving ourselves, not necessarily other people that have deceived us, but sure, we've all had those kind of experiences as well. I feel like here, they don't want you to 
talk yourself out of something. Don't deceive yourself. Don't convince yourself. Don't let your ego take over and say, no, this isn't safe. Because it is safe for you to do. Knight of Swords, great. This is taking action. They want you to take action. Can it be about messages? Sure. But there's going to be some call to action this month that you cannot deny. There's going to be a push so strong that you literally take off running. All right, under that, we have the Ten of Pentacles. And it's going to be freaking successful. So do it. Do the thing that you're calling, you're being called to do. It's like here, they're like, it's almost like there's a group of people begging you. Like, do this. It's going to be successful. You're going, you're going to be fine. You're going to make the money that you need to make. Release any ideas around um, what things should look like and how your finances should be or how you should bring in an income and just go for it because it's going to be incredibly successful. They want you to remember that because this is what they want you to focus on is that, is trusting that it's going to be that way. You take the action and it's going to be successful. All right, so challenge, King of Swords. Somebody else embedded in you some lie that wasn't true. And the challenge for a lot of people as you're healing and waking up and deconditioning is those old beliefs that we have, that person in our ear, that parent, or that whoever had to be a part of our path in order to trigger us into our healing. That is what needs to be reckoned with because they were lies. They aren't the truth about who you are or who maybe you even believed for a period of time that you were. For you guys, I think it's more about the deconditioning from the patriarchal system and releasing a lot of that. Uh, some have. So if you've already done that, great. You're just being pushed even further into the, the work or the helping and for others of you, this is just, you know that it still exists, even if you don't believe it. But whoever was saying those things to you, they aren't true. They aren't who you are. And you don't have to believe that. It's the belief in yourself that you're learning how to have in this life. So trust the things that are starting to happen and the confidence that you're starting to build. More so than whatever confidence you've already built up to this point. All right, let's look at the Knight of Pentacles in reverse. This is where the defending yourself is going to be. Listen, I've done such weird things in my life. I never thought in a million years, if you told me at, at this age that this is what I'd be doing for a living, I would have told you you were nuts. Did I know I was psychic as a child? Yes. Had I done things before in my life? Sure. Did I think I could make a living out of it? No. And I think a lot of you are going, how in the world... So if there are people that come up, you may defend yourself, but you have to remember, you just keep moving, regardless of what other people have to say about it. The advice here is just keep going because the calling is much bigger than anything anybody else could say. If you are in a moment where you feel like you have to defend yourself, it may be to some people who question you, but don't do it for long. Don't spend a lot of energy doing that. And if you are saying back to me right now, because I just heard somebody go, I don't, then great, good. Because you don't have to defend yourself in that way. Okay, so towers in reverse, which is good. Something's already fallen apart, and you know that. It's time to move forward. Hangman's in reverse. They're taking you out of a space of like dangling in the energy where you may have been wondering what's what's going on, what am I doing? You're coming out of that space. And then the Ten of Swords, because something had to happen that was painful enough that you realized you had to be done. And however that fits for you relationship, work situation, whatever it is, it, it's, you got stabbed in the back one too many times. You were hurt one too many times. The betrayal was too much. And now you had to make the decision, even though it's going to hurt and take a chance on something new. And God, I mean, if some of you have had careers that have lasted 30 years of your life and you're making a significant change, that's tough. Emotionally, that can be strange, uncomfortable. So the two of pentacles with the five of cups, we have the king of swords in the upright here. So your challenge is the liars in the past. There is somebody around you that has a, a ton of wisdom. It could be a mentor. doesn't have to be a male. Um, it's just somebody who has a lot of integrity that would support and stand up for you. Listen, it's somebody else. Not that you don't move with integrity because you do. Um, and you are going to be regaining this as well. But this feels like somebody else around you that is very honest and helpful. 
All right, so with the Five of Cups and the Fool, the Ace of Swords, so you may not be very clear on somebody's intentions, but they don't want you to worry. They just want you to take a chance with the situation. If you happen to be single, it could be a Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius, male or female, doesn't matter. And maybe you don't understand what this person's motives are. I'm going to say don't question their motives because I think they're genuine. Part of you with the Two of Pentacles could be going back and forth because you have lost trust in probably a lot of things, people, situations. This is a trustworthy person. They move with integrity. They have good intentions for you. Okay, whoever that may be, and if you haven't met them yet, you will. The Ace of Wands with the Three of Wands in reverse. We have the Hierophant. Great. See, they just want you to have faith. With the Three of Wands in reverse and then the Hierophant on top of that, it tells me just take the step and have faith that things are going to work out and try not to focus too far in the future or what the outcome is going to be and how that's coming in for you. Three of Wands with the Strength, Nine of Pentacles. You're going to push through this energy where you felt unstable. Again, it's having faith that anything can turn around at any given time. So they want you to keep having the courage to push through that feeling of uncertainty because the Nine of Pentacles is usually very stable energy, um, feeling like everything's going to be okay. When it's upside down, it's it can be a little scary if things are feeling really off, especially with major changes in your, your life. So they want you to keep pushing through, have the courage to do it, face your fears. Four of Pentacles in reverse with the Star in reverse, the Page of Pentacles in reverse, Hold on, I want to ask what this is about. Okay, so you're releasing something connected to how you work with your finances. You're not going to be doing things the way that you used to. Again, you're going to be healing old money patterns. You're just not going to step into things the way that you did before. Maybe you started something when you were young and this is what's shifting and changing. That's nothing to be afraid of. Because they want you to know, again, that you're going to be supported. You're going to be helped in this significant change. So the Nine of Swords, this tells me, obviously, um, yeah, it could be a little bit stressful. I'm not going to say it's not going to be. Because any kind of change that we make in our lives or that we think about making in our lives can be a little bit stressful. Especially if we haven't done it like this before. So yes, there could be a little bit of stress. But I don't think it's a bad thing. I think you're just needing to be reminded or they want to remind you whether you feel like you need it or not, that things are going to be fine. Okay. Um, letting go of whatever things that didn't work out in the past or people that didn't work situations and just pushing forward and taking action. And then we have the page of wands. Great. To me, this is a whole new perspective. Red could be a significant color for you or cardinals, especially connected to your lost loved ones. Those are significant birds, but those bring new awarenesses and just looking at things different with a new set of eyes, I just heard, okay? And the action will be much easier to take. Then we have the King of Wands in reverse with the Knight of Swords and the Ten of Pentacles. Oh, there was somebody or something in your life. This is twice now, and Spirit's like, you need to release that, especially if it's connected to your, like, somebody saying you'll never be anything or you won't make enough money in your life or something that you want to do isn't going to work out. They want you to let that go. And maybe a part of you is hearing this in your ear and you're like, you know what? I, I'm changing my mind about this. I have a new way of looking at this. I'm not going to listen to this, this person's negative energy. And you may pull back from where you used to put your passions. Like your passions may have been around doing things this way. And now all of a sudden you're like, I don't feel... I have a new way of seeing this. Maybe I'm not quite as passionate about something as I used to be. And that's okay because there's success to be had in other ways. I think we get the point. We've we've definitely uh, gone over it several times. All right. So the person with that in your ear, the challenge, King of Swords. Then we have the Two of Swords. I think it always confused you or kept you stuck. Or you couldn't get past making decisions because there was this thing I keep pointing at my ear like embedded in your ear and you couldn't let it go so you were having a tough time making decisions this just tells me that sometimes you don't trust yourself that's what the challenge is making a choice and that's okay anytime there is one of those massive explosions and we have to suddenly shift 
more so now than ever. I mean, yes, all souls go through big shifts in their lives, but a lot of times they aren't going to do like we've done in this lifetime. So drastically different. All right, where am I going? I'm going to advice. All right, let's get the advice. Let's see what they have for you here. This is for Virgo. Okay, wish upon a star is what I just heard. This healing is happening and then something really, truly magical is going to happen this month for you. It's like you're going to see it. It's written in the stars. I don't always get that with this card. That's what I just heard. It's written in the stars. So you're going to understand that this was meant to be all along. Your hope and faith and everything is going to be restored because you're going to trust. See, judgment again. It's like you're holding your hands up. You know your higher self is giving you this guidance. Pay attention to the 20th of July. That could be a significant date as well as the 17th. Or you could be born on either the 17th or the 20th of the month. It's, it's like there's something really truly healing about both of these energies. Something about Something washes over you and all of a sudden you're like, it's okay. I can just trust. I can fall into this energy with the full card. And then the six of wands. We know what that is. Success celebration like literally standing there with your arms up to the sky with lights on you right because that's a sense of success so some of you could be speakers and that's what's healing to people whatever it heals for them could be around their finances could be that you have you write something about that or you speak about it but whatever it is it's going to be successful and then we have death and rebirth that you've already gone through and they're just saying, just understand that you've already done what you've needed to do. You're coming out of that energy now. And then temperance. See his wings? Yes, it is about patience. But it's also sometimes about balance, which is what he's doing. And he's just trusting. The number 14 is standing out. So that could be a significant number for you or the 14th of July. You guys have a lot more dates than I, I normally spew out. So I'm going to say them again. The 14th, the 17th, and the 20th of the month could be born on those days or those are days in July that you need to keep an eye out for. All right, let's see what we get with the other advice. What else does Virgo need to know? I'm going to pull from the bottom. Time to reflect. Okay, I think you've been doing a lot of inner reflection. Show that you care and embrace the dark. Interesting. They don't go together to me at all, but it's three very important messages. Show that you care. That's what people need. They need to know that you care. And they do know. If anybody crosses your path, they're going to know that you care about what you do. Even if at times you've been a little aloof. So the reflection, time to look back. I just heard time to look back and let go. Embrace the dark side if you've ever... It says dark, but I'm going to say dark side. We all have one. Embrace that. It, it's a part of everything that we do. There's always got to be a balance there. So if there has been anything that's been happening and maybe a part of you goes to that darker side of your energy or your thought processes, embrace it. It's just a part of who you are. It's okay. You're not going to fall into that, that hole, if you will, or that depth and be taken away. Just embrace it, know it's there, and pull yourself back up from it. I know that can be easier said than done at times, but I think you know you're getting to a place where you're mastering that a little bit better. And let's see what the Lover's Oracle has for you. Nope, not, okay. Hmm, funny, I just said that word, power. You instinctively know what is right for you, and you have the power to say no or walk away at any time. Incredibly powerful message there. Then we have transformation. Your relationship with one another is about to deepen. Love conquers and transforms all things. If you are in a healthier relationship and you have a question around whether it's going to, it will. But you have to decide if that's what you want to do, if you want to put your energy there. Imagine all unwanted thoughts dissolving into light, the darkness we were talking about, creating room for new opportunities and possibilities for your life. Okay. See what we have with the wisdom of the oracle. The fates. This is a faded situation. I haven't felt, I want to be really pushy and excited and be like, look, and there's the 17 again. Like something about this energy is truly faded. You had the star come out 
and the star in this is it's basically the same thing like something is faded there's a dream that's coming true there's something that is meant for you and I think this calling like I said before I want to say it again the calling is so strong you can't deny it so again the 17th you could be born on that date the first seventh or the eighth of the month and they want you to try to take breaks and breathe through this the best way you know how breath work could be important for you it doesn't necessarily mean meditation but you could have to take moments if you are someone who deals with anxiety, breath work is going to be really important. I just saw a whole room of um, sound bowls too. Don't talk about those. So if it's something that you love or it's something that you do or need, it's going to be really good for you. So you could be 29, born on the 29th, the 2nd, the 9th, or the 11th of the month and regeneration. So you know this is what's happening. Something in you is completely regenerating. And this is that time when things are going to start anew. So you could be 46, born on the 4th, the 6th, or the 10th, and then exchanging gifts. This is a 9. So you could be 27, born on the 2nd, the 7th, or the 9th of the month. Exchanging gifts is always about giving, not necessarily with the expectation of receiving, but there's, there's this sense of there's just some unconditional love. And the gifts that you give to other people, they just automatically want to give back is what I'm hearing. You are a gift to other people. All right, let's listen to, listen to, sorry. <laughs> let's get your Australian animal oracle card to close this out. Interesting, that one was flipped over, so I'm going to keep going. Let's see which one's for you. Okay, the praying mantis. So you could be 36, born on the 3rd, the 6th, or the 9th. That's two nines there and stillness. Let's see what your message is. 36. There we go. The praying mantis. Okay. Praying mantis is here to remind us of the benefits of stillness as it is in the stillness where we connect to spirit. Praying mantis encourages us to stop and listen to our inner guidance while being grateful in advance for the messages we receive. The card asks that you move into the still place of mindfulness to embrace the opportunities that show up in divine right timing. Stillness, mindfulness, and inner guidance. Love it. Okay, those were your messages. Thank you so, so much for being here. I can't tell you guys how much I appreciate you, seriously. And please do hit the like button and leave me a comment. And again, if you'd like a personal reading, the info is in the description box below or the about section of my channel. I hope you guys have a really incredible month this was an amazing read at least it felt really amazing so I hope you get through this and know that you have such purpose um, and big changes are coming all right guys take care lots of love I will see you in the next one